Grand Rising everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. This is Denzimus and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom and the channel of breaking empaths free. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality, I talk about personal and self-development. And if that's what resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us, give us a like, share this video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. I'm doing this video for the hurting empaths, okay? I want to give you some motivation and enlightenment as well. A lot of empaths have a tendency of, um, is it a tendency or a habit? Of falling for good Samaritans. This is the video where I want to request you guys to listen very attentively. Okay, take your time, be patient. Just take your time and be patient and listen to this entire video. We are talking about Good Samaritans. So those are the people who usually they come in at your weakest point. You know, you've just gone through a breakup. You've been discarded. So you're out there hurting. Maybe you've been sent out of your home. It could be anything, or sometimes it could be a case whereby you have um, just lost your job, or maybe you've lost a loved one or a pet. So, you're in the morning season of your life. The morning could be weeks, could even be months sometimes. Now, in that particular moment, you are very vulnerable. You are extremely vulnerable, okay? That is when you're going to meet some people, they call them the Good Samaritans. Now, I'm not saying that all of them are bad. There are some Good Samaritans with good intentions, but there are also some good Samaritans who sometimes may turn out to be narcissists, okay? Those people, first of all, they are going to come in with a very sweet energy. Oh, what can I do for you? What is going on? Oh, you start telling them your problem. You know, you lost this pet. You lost a loved one. You're going through this. Maybe you lost your job. It could be anything. And those people, should you find them in a very good financial state, which most of the time, they, the reason why they call them good Samaritans is because they're in position to help you in one way, shape or form. That help, it may look like it's a free help, okay? They're just helping you because they want the best for you. But that help is coming with consequences, okay? They may rent you a house. They may buy you a new car. Maybe you lost your pet, they want to buy you a new pet. You're homeless. Oh, you know what? I've got this extra room in my house. You can come over, let me, let me house you in my house. That's what they say, okay? As much as everything may sound like they want the best for you, you also have got to remember that they may have other motives for you. And it's going to take a very long time before you realize who those people really are and what they really wanted from you. So for the empaths who are going through pain, you need to remember this kind of toxic, narcissistic people, they also like vulnerable people. Okay? Number one, you're giving them supply. Because you're hurting. And that's what they want. Because I've told you guys, these kind of guys, they also feed off of uh, negative energy. So you're hurting, you're crying, you're mourning, you're sobbing day and night. They want to see this, okay? And at the same time, they're going to come around and uh, rub your tears and make you smile again. But you're, go you're only going to smile for a couple of months, if not even weeks. And those people, they're going to hurt you, okay? They're going to hurt you. They will come around 
they're going to be very sweet. They're going to help you with a new car. They're going to help you with a place to stay. And eventually, they are going to ask something in return. So normally, the good Samaritans are those people who come in and uh, they will help you. And they will not ask anything in return. Okay? They will just help you and they will leave. They don't need anything from you. But there are some good, good Samaritans who are coming in to stay. Okay? They've already inject, uh, invested a lot of money in you and help and energy and everything, and they're going to ask something in return. Normally, they could ask for sex, they could ask for your time, they could ask for anything. But usually, if you have opened that door to a good Samaritan who actually need, needed something from you, there's a very big chance you may be dealing with a toxic individual. A person who is a healthy individual, normally, they will allow you to go through the, the morning process. Yes, they're going to be around and they will uh, support you, Maybe advice, maybe counseling, maybe just being around you, you know, just to, you know, to help you get around this process. And usually when everything is fine, they will usually walk away. They don't really need anything from you. But when a good Samaritan decides to stay around you, they actually need something from you. They want a relationship, then maybe they want sex, then they want something in return. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, like I've said, usually you're going to pay for whatever it is they have done for you. Okay? Those people, they are going to switch in an instant. The moment they have taken you in and they have let you bring your guards down, they are going to hurt you. They are going to hurt you and they are always going to remind you of all those good things they did for you when they met you at your lowest point. Okay? So what am I trying to say in this video is that a lot of you empaths, You have to be att uh, attentive. You have to pay attention to the moments whereby you are in you are at your you are in your lowest state. Okay, you are at your lowest. Things are going bad for you. You are hurting. Those those moments they come and go. They don't stay forever. Some of, most of them they come and go. Okay. If you get a person who helps you, make sure that they're doing it out of, out of goodwill and they are not really looking for anything in return. Okay. You have to know that they are genuine. But if they always want to stay, then you need to actually sometimes understand. Those people may be looking for something else, okay? They just want to suck you in because they know that you actually provide a lot of fuel. They're most probably narcissistic and they know that part of you, the broken part of you. And that is what they want to see. So when things have gotten better at some point, they always have that broken part of you in their mind. They still remember the moments when they picked you up, when you are sobbing and hurting and crying. And they are going to use everything they can do. They are going to do everything they can do. They can to make sure that they bring you back in that state and they are going to break you okay it's an awareness video empaths not everybody comes in with good intentions not everybody wants the best for you okay identify the good ones they will be there sometimes they are like i've said they are sometimes genuine people who will help you and they don't need anything in return they will help you and let you go and you just carry on doing it and they even sometimes do for you very, very big things and they'll never ask for anything. And they'll just keep on moving and living their lives. They will not ask for anything in return. But if a person shows up and they need something from you, those ones are called bad Samaritans. They're taking advantage of the situation because you're very vulnerable. And those people, I can promise you, you let them in, you will regret it, the reason as to why you let them in the, uh, you let them in, in the first place. So drop us a comment if you have made this kind of individuals. Let us know what you think. Like the page and subscribe. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate your support. Book a session if you want to. You could donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Desmos signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.